Hello everyone. In this CSS tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the float property. So, what is the float property? When do you use it? What does it do? How does it affect the rest of my web page? We're going to be covering these basics. So, what are we looking at? In front of us, we have the most basic web page possibly ever. Uh, we've got a header, a paragraph, and a footer. So, let's give ourselves a goal. The purpose of this video is to use CSS floats to add a sidebar over in this region and we'll give it a, a yellow background and we just want to sort of take up this right area and we want this existing paragraph to sort of wrap around it we're going to use floats to achieve that so let's take a look at our HTML so pretty basic stuff here we've got a div with a class of container and inside it we've got a heading and a paragraph so remember our goal was to add a sidebar over in this area. So let's add a bit of code in between the heading and the paragraph. So all I did was I added a bit of HTML, a div with a class of info box, and just an unordered list to take up space. So if we go back to our page, uh, we can see that this is not at all sidebar. This is just uh, taking up the full width. And we want this yellow box to essentially take up just this area and we're going to use CSS floats to achieve this so if we head over to our CSS file info box this is the yellow box we just added we're going to add a new declaration so the property is float and we're going to give it a value of right and if we refresh in our browser we see some good news and some bad news so the good news is that our yellow box is a bit of a sidebar now it's only taking up the right hand portion of the layout our main text is respecting it and wrapping around it we're almost there we've almost achieved our layout goal and the bad news or at least the confusing news for beginners is that our container is no longer tall enough for all of our content we can see that this sidebar is sort of spilling out the bottom and this sort of illustrates what the float property actually does so yes it aligns elements to the far left or the far right but it also in a way removes those elements from the natural flow of the page um, so in other words this container div is acting as if this element doesn't even exist it's been removed from the page flow so we need to compensate for that and the way to do that is to clear the floats that's a term you're going to hear a lot about in the future clearing the floats now there are many different ways to clear your floats we're going to start out with the simplest way so let's head over to our HTML we're going to create a new element right before the end of our container so it's going to be a paragraph it will read this is the bottom text so if we refresh our page we see that there is a bit of new text and it achieved nothing our sidebar is still spilling out the bottom but what if we add a bit of CSS to this new element so let's give it a class of clear me and let's head over to our style sheet create a new CSS rule and the only declaration we need is clear right now if we refresh our page we see that our container is tall enough to house the sidebar let's take a, uh, a quick look at what is actually going on notice our new paragraph our clear me paragraph is sitting way down at the bottom there's, there's this huge gap in between the two paragraphs that is what the clear property is doing um, ignore this right this could have as easily have been both so let's quickly refresh we see that nothing changes so let's focus on the clear property we added this to the element and instead of the paragraph sitting directly below this paragraph like it is in the markup let's head over to our HTML so we see these two paragraphs are, are right next to each other in the markup but in our browser we see that this is way down here that is what the clear attribute is doing the clear attribute is telling the browser if there are any floats above this element we want it to sit beneath them we want to clear those floats so I, I think it's starting to possibly click in your head of what the clear attribute is doing however the problem now is that in most layouts we don't necessarily want any text at the bottom of our container we simply wanted our container to be tall enough to house the sidebar so I suppose we could remove this text 
and just have an empty paragraph tag and we see that it's gone and that works but it's not exactly semantic and it's not exactly uh, quick and easy to code so now I'm going to show you my preferred method of clearing floats which is the clear fix now with the clear fix method we don't need any extra HTML so we can begin by deleting this clear me paragraph and when we do this we see that once again our layout is broken but let me show you how quick and easy the clear fix method is all we need to do is add a new class to our parent element the container which houses all of the floated elements so we add a new class here Cle oops caps lock is on clear fix and we need some corresponding CSS in our style sheet for the class of clear fix so we head over here go ahead and delete this clear me class okay so I just added in all of this to the style sheet do not worry about typing this or memorizing this. I will include this in a link and you can go ahead and just copy and paste it into your CSS file. But for now, we added this to our style sheet and we added this class of Clearfix to the container. If we refresh the page, we see that our container is now tall enough for the sidebar. So it is acknowledging the floats. We don't have any extra markup at the bottom of our container. It's the best of both worlds. Now, if you're curious as to what all of the Clearfix CSS is actually doing, you don't need to worry about that for now, but I'll go ahead and give you a quick recap. It's essentially adding a period dynamically at the very bottom of the container element. It is then clearing, it's applying the clear property to that little period, and then it's hiding the period. And then these lines down here essentially make sure that the Clearfix works in every web browser under the sun. So it's something that you can add to your style sheets once, forget about it, and then just apply that class to the parent element whenever you have floated elements. It's a quick and easy fix, works in every browser, and it's just another tool to have up your sleeve. So hopefully, after watching this video, you now have a basic understanding of CSS floats and how to clear the floats, and you're well on your way to creating CSS layouts. All right, hope you feel like you learned something, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks, bye.